learn about the math library functions. Now Python has some standard library which provides like a module name as math. Okay, for all the uh, you can say some of the math related functions that work with all the number types except for the complex numbers, right? So this function, the first one that is math, this works well with all of the things, all of the numbers ex uh, except the complex numbers. For complex numbers, we have something different, some different type different kind of mathematics that is C math. Today we'll also go with that too, right? All right. So you can just simply import math. That is. So in order to work with this functions of math module, you just need to first import this math to your program and then you can write other statements to the lines and the scripts to get the things, right? So import math. And I say, as M. Okay. Now, so what exactly this uh, module works? This provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the Python there, right? And this cannot be used in case of a complex numbers. For complex numbers, we are going to use a module called as C math. If you need some complex uh, numbers to be there solved, some programs with complex numbers okay all right so uh, let's proceed uh, let's see what are the functions in the math module so we have starting from seal uh, okay sorry starting from a cos cos h assign sin h a tan tan 2 tan h seal copy sign cos cos h and on all these are the functions what you can see there in the list, right? Okay. Now let's come with the very first one, the first function that is seal math dot seal. Okay. So this function returns the smallest integer which is not less than the number okay not less than the number. so a seal of x you can say uh, let's say this is a function so it returns you smallest integer not less than the number Okay. When you say not less than the number, it means like if you are writing four, five, something. What like if you write one point three? Then obviously you will be getting the smallest integer, right? With respect to one point three or some whatever you have written, but not the smaller, right? Not the smaller than the number itself, or lesser than the number one point three, basically. Let's have an example kind of thing. So, if we say it as math m dot seal. Okay, if I'm writing it as just math, okay. It should be mth. So, math dot seal of right 1.3. So, when you run this, we get 2. Why? Because the smallest integer this is a float 1.3 right so the smallest integer with 1.3 will be 1 but seal returns you the smallest integer greater than or equal to x what you write okay equal to x when it comes uh, you can write it like you may get the values greater or okay equal to x so if we write math dot c 5 i get 5 even, right so when i'm writing an integer I will get an equal value which will be not less than the number so 5 is not less than 5 that's okay right 
clear but when we write a float value 5.3 5.5 something right in that case 5 will not come because 5 will be less than 5.5 so obviously we are going to get something greater 6 is it clear clear to everyone having doubts I think no. Okay. Next module. Next is very easy. SQRT. A query number X, whatever you write. So this returns the square root of the x what you write okay now cases can be like if x is less than 0 a domain error occurs okay that should be kept in mind like if x is less than 0 then a domain error is going to occur right type of errors what you get okay so if we run this like math dot s u r t square root of 12 we get the things math dot s u r t of 16 right and for a wrong input like a negative less than 0 a domain error will come right you see math domain error okay clear next because a negative will come be coming obviously in complex one okay that will see in the complex mathematics next comes the argument exponentiations exp To write the arguments there. So this is going to return you the natural logarithm e raised to the argument power. C C. Okay. Let's see how it works. So if I'm going to write maths dot exp of 2.0, then you are going to get the value e, right? 2.0 e to the power of 2, you get 7.38 e. That's it, right? So maths dot e, that is it. Okay. Like maths dot exp 10. e to the power of 10 okay so what's the value of e to the power of 1 it's 2.718 something all right it's clear one second Okay, next function. This is something called as fabs. And sometimes this fabs comes in the examinations also. Like when you give empty examinations, you'll get this. So this returns you the absolute value of the number. Click how? Like math dot FABS fabs of 
if I say 1.0, then absolute of 1.0 is 1.0. If I say math dot fabs minus 1.0, 1.0. Clear. Maths dot fabs of minus 102.5, 102.5. Okay. Fabs of minus 102 is 102.0. Remember, this gives you the values in the float. Okay. I think someone is waiting now. Yeah. we have flow. The float is something which will return you the largest number or the largest integer something like okay deposit of you can say on the uh, seal right so here you will get the largest integer but not greater than the number. In the seal, we were having the smallest integer, but not less than the number. All right, so maths dot floor of, I will say, 1.3, we get 1. Math dot floor of minus 3.5, minus 4.5 is minus 5. Not greater than the number. See, minus 4.5 is lesser than minus 5. Greater than, sorry. Greater than. Okay. To write an integer that's fine all right so these are the things next next is logarithm okay uh, before that let's go with the factorial again that is also important Now, factorial works as like just you write the x inside the factorial and it will return you the factorial of that integer. So, this function just returns the factorial of an integer. Okay. Now, if you write something which is not integral or negative, then you get a value error. Right. Let's see. What do you write? Five point. Where it is? Five point three. See, factorial only accepts integral values. Factorial is 1. 
right okay so if i make a question that if i have one two three four and five zeros and i have been said to make 120 with this with using any of the mathematical calculations whatever you want so what we can do is we can say that if we only have to use the zero you can write math factorial of a zero that is one and that factorial to be multiplied for five times so zero factorial into five like doing factorial of all the zeros getting as five okay so zero 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 and adding them up we get five right so after we getting this we are going to do again the factorial of this factorial yeah of this and we get something as 120 and that's the basic thing okay moving on so next is the log not the simple log right you can write a number with the base 10 you have to mention that base here you know you write these things okay so this particularly returns you a natural logarithmic value for any number right and a domain error comes if the number is again negative and range error occurs if the argument you write is zero i will have next okay So what, what are the points we said? Domain error. When it comes, when you write a negative number and range error comes. When we write something as argument as zero, these are the things. So let's see how it works. So math dot log if i say 1.0 writing nothing else will give the natural log value for 1.0 that is 0, 0.0 okay if i say log of 1024 with the base you have to write the base let's say base 2 you get 10.0 okay Similar to this, we have something called as log 10. When we write something to the base of log 10, this was a base where we can write our own base. Or if you don't want to write the base by your own, like going with something with the base of log 10, you can just write or you can use the module of log 10. Right? So that can be. log 10 of any number you don't have to define the base there right okay so here also the same things base uh, the domain errors and the 
range errors same are there right so let's have a copy of this okay so like if i write math dot log 10 two any number 1.0 0, 0.0 log 10 uh, why it is 0, 0.0 log 10 of the base okay yeah. so uh, here it gives the base 10 logarithmic value for 1.0 and you get the 0, 0.0 it's fine right next we have a function called as power most commonly used of x. You don't say it as x, basically, you say the power and the exponentiation. Then. So it returns the base raised to the power exp, right? So if your base is zero and if your exponentiation value is less than or equals to zero and also if your base is less than zero and exponentiation is not an integer, you get a domain error. Okay. So let's write this. So like math dot like this here. Power. Okay. And if I say 3.0 to the power of 0, it's 1. Something to the power of 0 is obviously 1. Okay? Right. Next. Two to the power of 4, 16.0, always in the float. Okay? Next. Now coming to this sine, cos, and all. Whatever the argument you write, you get the same things, okay? Let me copy this. So match up sign of any um, number like twin thirty. This is the value. Okay. All right. One point zero, zero point zero, all the results will be getting there. Okay. Right? Fine. Sim goes with the cos, with the tan, with the uh, different things, the degrees and all. It goes similar with every kind of things. Okay. So these are the uh, functions you use in the math module. Same goes with the cos. For cos it's one, sine it's zero, yeah. Okay. Ninety is something, zero point something, right? Eight nine. Or uh, rounding of it rounding it off cos ninety, zero point something there. Basically zero it is you can see. You want an integer of that. This. Same if we do like thirty sine thirty. It's getting still the zero. So if we remove this, let's get to the zero. What we get? 
so uh, there is something called as degrees and radians all right so uh, there we use some functions like math dot degrees math dot radians and why we use degrees function to convert any angle from radians to degrees okay from radians to degrees so let's say that if i use a function degrees like this and i say 3.14 in the degrees uh, in the uh, degrees basically right so from radian okay this is an angle in the radians and converting them in degrees got 179.91 something like if we round off this thing okay now if we go for the radians with this opposite of this degrees we get 3.140 and all the things you it's easy i think right so these are the things now uh, you can check uh, the credibility of any numbers like if it is infinite if if it if a number is infinite or having not a number if uh, a if a number is a square root of something or not right like can you get a square root of any that number like a perfect square kind of thing right non negative number okay all right or um, like sometimes you see here in the square root function where it is like this here you get the float values but what if i don't want to get a float value in that case what we are going to use we are going to use an integer square root function that is m dot i s q r t of 64 is that not as no why 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 it is the answer sir yeah someone say something uh, i will get 8 sir One second, speak again. Speak again. Who is it? You will get. Yeah, eight. I'm getting eight. Is the answer, sir? Okay, you are getting. Okay, you are getting. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm not. Getting Import math, sir. Yes. Might not work. I have done in the first one. Which version Python you are having? Yes, sir. Jupiter three point eight, sir. Jupiter three. Python three point eight. Yeah, Jupiter. Yeah. Actually, it works, but I think I am having three point six.
think it's not working in three points. It's uh, it was working in my PC actually. Uh, let me search for it. Just a moment. Is that compatible with only match dot is sqrt? I'm having 3.8 in my PC. I think for that it was working. Match dot is sqrt. Yeah, so we are having this function here. Let's come with this match dot sqrt. Is it mm. all right? Yeah, this is a new method in 3.8, so uh, it's not working in 3.6.5. Okay, or like any less version than that. So you can upgrade to 3.7 or 3.8. 8 is particularly better if you can go with that. You're having 3.8 someone, right? For that, you might be running it there. Okay, <laughs> for that. I was also saying like you are getting a no attribute why it is not working. Okay, so it works. All right. So. Okay, I'm not doing this right because you see that it can be done there in the 3.8. So I'm not doing it here right now. Okay. If you're having 3.8, you can run, you can check, you will get the answers. Okay. Similar, uh, LCM also works. There is a function LCM. I hope that it works here. Because if that is not working, I don't hope so that it will work. Hmm. Yeah, obviously it will not work. All right. So let it keep these all the functions still here in the math module, right? Uh, next comes like uh, as I said, there is some of the functions which also work in the complex sites, right? That is complex numbers. And some constants are also being used in the mathematics sometimes, right? Like uh, if you say pi, math.pi, 3.1415, the pi, okay? And sometimes the E, constant E, Okay, and we in the physics we use tau. This tau. Okay, and sometimes the infinite floating point values i and f infinity, and all right. Not a number, nan. Many a times when you learn after the Python, when you are going in the deep, learning with different manner details and all you will find it there. one second math module in python uh, let's have this okay, because you have learning a module math module math module anywhere the math module is okay uh, let's see Any, anything so that it is work. So see how to write an image that is also important. I probably do these things specifically. I what I, what to do is just click on the image and then copy the image address. Okay, copy the image address. Here you go to your notebook okay make 
an additional one here convert this in a markdown write img src is equals to and inside the strings write this close this done this you will get the things all right it's a cool way like if you want to fight some grf kind of math module okay it's interesting like if you can make your notebooks a quite easy one a good one like if you see on this what is it it's doing a bit of mathematics x square and now what you have to do is just copy okay i think i should share this here yeah so it's like looking on maths.gif what is it going on it is writing something with that right so copy image address okay simple copy image address go to your markdown area and replace it when you make projects this will help you see okay clear everyone how to insert images in the notebooks Hmm. inserting links and all are very easy things okay now working with c math is something called as complex mathematics okay now complex mathematics basically provides access to all the mathematical functions for complex numbers right so you can convert for any polar coordinates or two any polar coordinates right so complex are always in the form of real and imaginary as i said as we did to right that is if z is a real number uh, sorry complex numbers and z dot real z dot imaginary is going to be equals to z uh, however z is not defined so 45 j uh, run this so z is equals to 45.0 see it was 45 j but now it is 45.0 so that is not real 45.0 z dot imaginary 0, 0.0 okay so these are the things now if we check z is equal equals to z dot real plus dot imaginary multiplied by 1 j we get true what if we don't try it multiplied by 1 j still true right? because there is no such of the imaginary parts now there right so it's easy if you write up the things all right then same of the functions goes with the exponentiations log log 10 square roots cos of cos sine assign and all those things right okay clear tan and all the things like right? if you are working for c math dot the sign of 0 0.0 j see oh i haven't imported that it's 0 j all right sign of 0, 0.0 is 0 for that you get the 0 j you get zero okay right and sometimes we go for finding up the inverse of all these so inverse of all this is nothing but the a value like inverse of sine switch right inverse of the signs and all Then you have some of the hyperbolic functions across h, sin h, a tan h, and all the things. And then the classification functions of some of the functions like work in 3.8 for now, right? Is nan, is close, is things, and all those things. So that is the working of a complex mathematics. All 
all things are just the same thing right only you have to use something like just the j name that's it right so i think that uh, this module is over the math module if you are having any doubts you can ask in the math module for whatever you have that will now so these are the functions what you can use a lot of things are there right gradients and all gcd gamma and you can go with the help of any module to understand how it works stop this